On my left side is the white structure. This is the headquarters of the Punjab Intelligence Bureau. And if we move the camera towards a bus, which can be seen parked uh, in front of this building, and extreme left uh, is the place from where the rocket-propelled grenade RPG was fired. The distance uh, is nearly 100 meters from this building. So the Punjab's highly sensitive and highly protected building is also on the target of the anti-social elements though they have yet to be identified. Police has registered a fire against unidentified persons who are involved in this incident. But this has left the police authorities in the dark as police was not able to protect themselves as well. Though the police officials say the blast was uh, a small blast, it did not uh, hit the target, it uh, failed to uh, cause a blast, but uh, it f f fell on a table and smashed the window panes. Nobody was hurt in this incident, but the police officials are on the toes after this incident, which happened a fortnight after a powerful IED was recovered from the boundary wall of Chandigarh's Budel Jail. Uh, Chief Minister Bhagwant Man during the day had called an emergent meeting of the police officials, the STF officials in particular, and had asked them uh, not to work under any pressure. Though the government is working, government is trying to find out and the police is trying to score the evidences, but the officers are still clueless who is behind this incident. What is their motive? How they managed to bring RPG and a launcher too close to the building of the Punjab police. The investigations are currently on. The investigations will reveal the faces behind this incident and the motive. Whether the Khalistani outfits are behind this incident or it has been uh, caused by the gangsters and other anti-social elements, what is the motive? It will be clear after the investigations are over. With camera person Aman Gupta, this is Manjit Segal in Mohali for India Today.